Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching Yuragi Sono Yunasan Episode 4. So, last episode, uh, name, okay, uh, Kogarashi was having his first day of school. Um, goes to class, Yuna fo follows him, and already starts ca causing trouble. Uh, he sees her, like, looking at this other student, uh, like her school outfit, and trying to figure out what it's made of. But she's, like, touching the skirt and, like, lifting it. <laughs> and he rushes over there to try to stop her. But when he does, Yuna accidentally lifts her skirt up. And she thinks that he did it. When he didn't, but everybody in the class thinks he does now. And then he's starting to talk to Yuna out loud, because, I mean, I guess that's the only way he can talk to her, uh, in the classroom. So people are wondering, you know, what is, who is he talking to? Um, then it comes to the introductions. Everybody's given, you know, their introduction, in front, you know, to the class. And when he comes up, he starts going on about how he's a medium, like a psychic medium, and if they're having issues with, like, spirits or anything like that, to come to him and he can help them out. Which just gets everybody to laugh at him. Except for the one girl. Uh, the one whose skirt got lifted. Her name is... Uh, Chisaki. <laughs> she ends up asking to meet with him after class. And when she... When they do meet up, she... Explains that she has been having trouble... Um, with some kind of spirit at her home. It is like taking possession of her stuffed animals and scaring her and all this stuff. So he says, okay, well, let's go to your place and I'll take a look. So they go and she's kind of suspicious about what his intentions are. Because, I mean, he did lift her skirt, according to her. Uh, but we all know it was Yuna. <laughs> And he's looking at the animals and, you know, everywhere that these things have been, you know, coming to life. Ooh. Excuse me. It's like 3.20 in the morning right now. <laughs> uh, and then he starts punching them with his, you know, exercising fist. And Chisaki is freaking out because he's punching her stuffed animals and she ends up hitting him back asking him what he's doing and he's he basically tells her you know, like, exercise demons by punching them. <laughs> uh, the good news is, is your stuffed animals aren't possessed because if they were they w the spirits would have been sent to you know, wherever they were going to go. Um... So, he pretty much comes to the conclusion that somebody is controlling them from a distance. Um, he ends up leaving for, you know, I don't know, the rest of the day. Because he accidentally fell on top of her. <laughs> um, you know, that whole misunderstanding that usually happens in anime like this. Uh, and she kicks him out. And then he's thinking to himself, okay, so somebody's definitely, you know, controlling the animals, and we'll keep an eye out. Um, and then she's, you know, in her room. Then her stuffed animals come to life again and start attacking her. And he comes in, you know, punching. <laughs> uh, obviously, he's not going to do anything because there's no actual spirit inside of him. But he has Yuna looking for these, uh, like, I guess, spirit lines so that she can follow them and they can find who is actually controlling the stuffed animals. And when they get there, um, 
Ugh, man. Sorry. When they get there, they find who's doing it. And they call, like, this huge, I guess, demon spirit thing uh, that he ends up defeating, which freaks out the person who called it. And then he's trying to, you know, ask them, you know, what are you trying to do? You know, why are you controlling her, her stuffed animals? Why are you scaring her? And it turns into this, like, little girl. I forget what kind of spirit she was. Uh, oh, uh, it's like a tanuki. Tanuki spirit. Um, where all of the other tanukis are in the city and, you know, they take the form of people. But she's not very good at doing it. So she was trying to watch Chisaki to kind of figure out, you know, what, how to turn into somebody that looks like her. Basically, she wanted boobs like her. <laughs> so she wanted to see her naked so that she could get a good idea of how to form boobs. Uh, if I remember correctly, Chisaki is in a towel this entire time. Uh, so... She walks over to her and, you know, says, you know, if, it, if it'll help, you know, then, you know, I don't mind. And then the girl, like, pulls open the towel and is looking at them. And they cut to the next day where Yuna and, uh, oh, God, Kogarashi are walking to school. Um... And then Chisaki meets up with them to give him uh, some cookies, you know, for that she made to help, you know, to as a thank you for helping her. And she asks what happened to, you know, the spirit. And he says, you know, that they took her back to where he's living. Because, I mean, there's a lot of spirits there. <laughs> and she's staying with them for now. Uh, so, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing a lot more of Chisaki. But, uh, you know, we'll see. So, I don't know what's going to happen in this episode. But let's get into it and see what we are going to have happen. Alright, so the video is going to be located over here. And the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. And we're going to start this episode in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> 